right, so this is my original shed, and it is trashed, as you can see. I haven't been in here and done anything in a while, uh, not since I put the computer together to go in the other shop, which I've been using most of the time, instead of using this stuff. The only issue is that computer over there now, I'm always having problems. Um, I was putting parts into it, if you watched my last computer upgrade video, and I never got it to work right, and now I need files off of it, so I'm trying to do what I can to get it to work. Every time I go to turn it on, it says that it needs to do a boot up repair, and it scans drive L, so I'm trying to figure out which one is drive L. We now have Majin Zindo TV t-shirts available on rayjohn.com. Please check the description below for more details. Also, my cousin Michelle has a YouTube channel called Unicorn and Centaur. Everyday magic for extra equestrians. <laughs> if you're interested in horses and that type of lifestyle, please go check her out. She's hilarious and it's a really good channel, very informative, and I would appreciate it. This one's for the crew. So we're gonna come over here, and I've already kind of started. I've taken this uh, two terabyte enterprise drive out, and uh, let's see if I can get us. Um, anyhow, so I took that drive out, and I'm going down the line to see which one's drive L. So we're gonna turn it on. Let me see what my view looks like right here move my arm there we go I'll do it this way so you can see what I see all right repair an automatic repair I'm not sure which one is drive L so I've got to figure that out now it's bloody hot out here because I turned the fan off to record this Diagnosing your PC, this is new, after I unplug that SSD. Uh, that's a Munchkin SSD. Uh, automatically, it should hit restart, see what happens. I believe that just had like some Steam games on it, then I keep getting this. Um, so yeah, I made sure that the RAM was installed correctly and everything, so. Uh, I'm a little rusty on this. I haven't really been working on a lot lately. But I want some stuff off of this computer um, as of right now. I do have an air conditioner to put in here, but I have to clean the whole shit out. And by the time I get it installed, it'll probably start getting cooler out. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can at least get all my files. Um, I do have an external 3 terabyte. Uh, USB 3 driver. Hmm. Alright, so let's, let's unplug some more stuff. Come on. Turn off. Um, I do have a 3 terabyte external USB 3. Um, drive that's hooked up that I used for mass storage that I might just unplug from here and take it and hook over to the other computer but I'm still hoping that I can figure out a way to get things to work over here the way I need it to but there is another hard drive down there um, let's force it to go from the drive that I know for a fact has the OS on it I'm still saying that's not unplugged. That's why. I still see the blue light on that. I keep thinking I'm unplugging that, and I'm not. Alright, so. What am I unplugging then? You have to excuse me while I try to figure this out. So I wonder if it's this one. Yes, that must be it. I wonder if I'm boot up. It's recognizing that wrong for some reason. 
Now there are newer parts in here that weren't originally in here and I'm thinking that has something to do with it. Because I've never got it to boot up and update drivers and stuff for the newer parts. Okay, I'm not getting the light on this, so hopefully maybe that's something in the RAM that was loaded that it doesn't recognize now that something else is unplugged, so I'm going to let it reboot. Actually, I'm going to do my thing about forcing it to just... Okay, automatic recovery. Okay, so understand that. Hmm. If I can get it just boot up, I can take all these hard drives and put them into this uh, Thermal Tape Black X and um, test them out one by one. I think it needs to be clean. System thread exception, ex exception not handled. Whatever that means. Hmm. Yeah, that's not booting up. Um... I got into it. <laughs> so we're figuring out what is what. Fuck that stupid computer. Now, I got something more interesting going on that I got to know about. So mom got me this weird candle that I just dropped. And it's really weird, man. Like, I didn't read it initially but I did now it says luminate keep lid on when not in use to preserve the life of the LED but then it says on the bottom for outdoor use only burn within sight keep away from things that catch fire how does it have an LED in it and it burns now I'm not gonna lie it's really weird because it's actually got a wick in it and this little plastic thing so I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that so we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna see what the hell's going on with this thing because there's some witchcraft and trickery going on and I've got to know So, here's the candle. Like I said, there's like this warning about using it to burn to prevent fire or, or injury, blah, blah, blah. So, we are going to light it and see what happens. Oh, wow. Somehow, it does glow with LED. Jeez, that's strange. Okay. Um. Oh shit. Hey, come here real quick. Don't you see something? Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Look at it. When, as soon as I lit it, it started changing colors and shit. Yeah. Like, I didn't understand what it meant by LED. I figured it had to be like heat induced LED. That's just crazy. They don't smell like a citronella candle though. Yes it is. It smells like one to me. You can smell it? I smelled it before it was lit, and I can't smell it now. That is crazy. That is insane. I really didn't think it was going to work. The LED? Well, I mean, I don't like light emitted diode, emitting diode. I didn't know you could actually like use just regular fire to power an LED. 
I don't get it. The fact that it changes color like that's crazy. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be like that either. No, it's just nuts. That's cool. Alright, I just wanted you to see it. Because <laughs> I was like, I gotta know about this. And then like I put the ladder out here to make sure the light and I was like, what the fuck? You messing with it, Father? Do you know what I... Well, just the curiosity. Yeah, I was kind of curious about lighting it earlier, but it said don't do it inside. Yeah. And I was like, well, I don't feel like going outside. I'm trying to figure out what's... I don't know why I couldn't burn that in my shed. Is it pretty jam? Yes. Probably. 